Talio there champs and welcome to the show. Now the Isus Transformer 3 Pro was released, I don't know, it's like three, four months ago now and I didn't really hear much about it to be honest. It's just one of those ones that sort of got lost in the wilderness but um, I'm glad I'm having a look at it today because this thing is pretty cool. At first looks, it just looks like a Surface Pro but if you actually look closer you'll see this thing has killer ports and we're talking Thunderbolt 3 whereas say the Surface only has USB 3 and a display port out I think that's about it. So you can attach an external eGPU to this so that means you can game on it, video edit, it's sort of just unheard of in a tablet type device. You can pick them up in Australia starting at $15.99 on sale now at, at zeus.com.au I think the the normal retail price is $16.99. Yeah, but the usual suspects in Australia, Bing Lee, JB. In America, they started at around $1,000 and about £900 in the UK. So it's a little bit more expensive than the Surface, but you do get that keyboard included, where with the Surface, you have to add that on. This model here has a Skylake i5-6200U, 2.3 gigahertz CPU, 8 gigabytes RAM, and you can get up to 16 gigabytes of RAM. It has a 256 gigabyte SSD. You can get up to 512 gigabytes. Now it uses a SATA based SSD, that's one thing to know. So you're only going to get in the 400 megabytes per second read and around 380 megabytes per second write. So you can see you're getting decent specs there. It's definitely on par with its competition. Premium design, magnesium body, you have that kickstand, 155 degree hinge there. It does look and feel premium. It's a little bit bigger than the Surface, but it certainly feels definitely as premium as that, if not better. But overall, the package is just premium. It screams premium. You can get it in gold or gray. Now, moving on to ports, we have on the left-hand side, microphone headphone jack, micro SD slot. On the right-hand side, you have USB 3, HDMI full size, so that's awesome. And that killer Thunderbolt 3 slash USB 3.1. And on the left hand side you also have a volume rocker and the power button on the top. You have a 2 megapixel selfie camera on the front and on the back you have a 13 megapixel shooter there. So if you want to be one of those people that takes photos with your tablet, you're well covered there. And all of this coming in a really thin and light package. We're talking 790 grams without the keyboard. With the keyboard it's 1.4 kilos and it's 8.3 millimeters. Thin. So very small, light package, easy to use as a tablet, it's comfortable. It is actually lappable to use as a laptop with the keyboard. It will take a bit to get used to that. And this sort of hybrid two-in-one design, either you'll like it or you won't. My wife loves it. She has to sign documents, she has to take notes, etc. I know artists that love this sort of form factor. This is certainly one of the best of this type of device you can get. Now talking about the keyboard and trackpad, it's easily to detach and attach. 1.4 millimeters traveled. The actual keyboard feels good. It's backlit. And of course, it's not gonna feel as rigid as a normal laptop keyboard, but it certainly feels good. It's very comfortable to use. The trackpad is surprisingly good. It's not too bad. I always expect when I use these sort of devices, the trackpad's not gonna be good. This is very serviceable. Now the sound is a little bit weak. They are Harman and Carmen tuned speed speakers but they're not that loud but the clarity is pretty good and they are front facing so you do get a good experience when you're watching content but the display is fantastic now I reckon this is the best part of this it's 12.6 inch 125% sRGB 178 degree viewing angles 3 by 2 ratio 2880 by 1920 300 nits so it gets plenty bright it is glossy so there will be reflections it's a cracking screen it really is a delight for your eyes great contrast great color reproduction it's very color accurate and things just look nice and crisp on it you're gonna love the display battery is a 39 watt hour battery i get around four five hours that's about right for this sort of device i mean i think that's something hopefully they can improve upon with some firmware updates or something over time but um you know four and a half hours is pretty decent now heat and noise now the fan you can actually hear it. you see the vents on the top it does have a whining sound the fans so you're going to know the fan is on the heat is pretty well controlled it doesn't get too warm to use so i'm happy about that now performance i've reviewed many 
products with this i5 6200U and we know how it performs, okay? So casual games, no problems. You can do Photoshop, you can do all your artist stuff. Video editing 1080p, you could be able to do, no problems. Games like Overwatch and CSGO, you're gonna have to drop those settings down to 720p low and AAA games, just forget about it. But it does have that Thunderbolt 3 port. So you can attach that Asus Republic of Gamers external graphics amplifier and you can pretty much do whatever you want of course yes the cpu will be a bottleneck you won't be able to push it to its maximum but you do have the option of really turbocharging this and gaming and pretty much video editing 4k content whatever you want if that's what you want to do so it's great to have that option and overall performance is really good for this type of device and this CPU performs how it should. And overall, I'm very happy with this. It, it compares very well to the Surface. It does have those killer ports, so it does have an advantage there. It's definitely one worth considering. If you're into this sort of two-in-one hybrid device, definitely make sure you check out this one. And that's it. I'd really like to thank you guys for watching. I've got lots more tech content coming soon. Give me a thumbs up if this video was helpful. And if you're new around here, why not subscribe? And until next time, guys, tally ho.